Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to do a misty forest landscape. So let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm just going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper. I have my Windsor Newton Cotman watercolors. I have my brushes, my Princeton snap brushes. Um, I'm going to be using an angle brush. Uh, just because I'm going to be covering the whole area with water at one point. Um, if you don't have an angle brush, you don't need it. You can just use a really big paintbrush. Um, but I'm just using this just because it's easier right now. And I have a size 4 Princeton Snap Brush. Then I have my water and my paper towel. And I actually have painter's tape for this video. This kind I got at the dollar store. So you don't need to go out and spend a bunch of money on it because some places it's kind of pricey. But I'm just gonna tape this up really quick. And there we go. Okay, so the reason why I taped this down is because I'm going to be wetting the whole paper. And when you wet watercolor paper, um, the paper can start to bubble a bit and just warp. So I wanted it flat. And this way you can create a cute little border. So we're going to be creating kind of like a trees in the mist. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your brush and you're just going to wet the whole background. So we're going to be using a wet on wet technique for this. Not too, too much water where it's like pooling everywhere, but just enough to get the background wet. If you're unsure if it's too watery or not watery enough, you should be able to see like a light shine on it. If you look at it at the right angle, probably not in this video. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take a really, really light, maybe you could do a gray or blue, just for kind of like a very subtle sky background. So I'm making it really light. I mixed a bit of, tiny bit of black with a bit of indigo. And I'm just lightly going back and forth. And you can even go down to the bottom. I'm actually going to take some of my indigo color. And I'm going to go down at the bottom because the trees are going to be down here anyway and I want it to be darker. So I'm just going to create a darker area down here. Okay. So the first step for the trees, what we're going to do so it's gonna look like trees in the mist, kind of. So you're gonna use the wet on wet technique to create trees in the background and just by letting watercolor do its thing. So because it's wet, it's gonna run out like that. And you're just gonna do some trees going back and forth like that while it's wet. It has a really cool effect. Now it will dry a bit lighter, which is what you want, because they're going to be like the trees in the distance, kind of like in a foggy mist. So you don't want it to be too dark, because you're going to be doing darker trees in the front, in the foreground. Do 
even to get them like way back there, you can do it really light. So the trees that are furthest away are lighter. And then as we get to the foreground, they're gonna be darker. So right now you're just doing your first layer of the wet trees. I think this one's actually a bit too dark, but that's okay. We're gonna do other ones that will be darker in front. You get that really cool wet on wet technique and effect which makes the trees look really cool. <clears throat> okay, I'll do some darker ones in front. That's a bit too much paint. Just super simple line down and then zigzags across going bigger and bigger as you get to the, closer to the bottom darker over here. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to let this dry. Okay. So make sure it's fully dry before you continue. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my big brush again. You can take a big round brush. I'll show you if you don't have that angled brush. And I'm just going to take my indigo color and a bit of black just to make it a bit darker. And I'm just gonna go at the bottom here. So there's gonna be lots of trees, but I just wanna fill in this part. You can kind of make it uneven just too, just in case you do see part of the ground. So in these instances where you're doing a landscape, usually in the background, the background is always like lighter. And then as you get closer to the foreground, it will be darker. I think I did this in my mountains tutorial too. So now you're gonna do the trees up front. So I'm just gonna mix my blue and indigo. And these trees will be a bit more sharper because you're not doing the wet on wet technique. It is now dry, so it's wet on dry. So you'll get that sharper image of a tree. Now, instead of doing the lines back and forth, I'm kind of just doing like a bit of zigzags while also pressing down on my brush. Because the lines are so sharp, I feel like it would just look like lines going back and forth if I did it the other way. Do smaller trees. And then you can take your paint too and go back in and touch parts of your trees to make it darker in some parts.
And I'm just gonna make the trees a bit shorter the closer I get to the middle. You don't have to, you can keep them going straight across all different lengths and whatever. I'm just, it's just the way I'm doing it. But really there's no wrong way to do it, so I don't feel like you have to do it my way. I kind of want it to look like a valley. Just like that. Again, I'm just going to touch parts of my trees that are still wet. Make them a bit darker. I might even go back over down here with some darker paint just to make it all blend in kind of with the trees. Like that. And there you go, there's your misty forest. So once your paintings dry, you get to do one of the most satisfying things, take the tape up. you can see that really nice border. And there you go. There's your beautiful misty forest painting. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for more. Have a great day guys. Bye. Do you like that one? <laughs>